Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is your genius. Guys, today again I am with a new video around Raspberry Pi. We will see how to access the graphical desktop environment of Raspberry Pi by using some other devices. So for this, we are going to use DNC that stands for Virtual Network Computing. So it may happen sometimes that you want to work with the graphical environment of your Raspberry Pi but you don't have any display or something so you are unable to access the graphical environment of your Pi. But by using VNC you can access the GUI or the home screen or desktop of your Raspberry Pi from any devices uh, let's say you are using internet or in, on your local network. So today we are going to see how to access the graphic environment of our Raspberry Pi by using Android phone. So for this we are going to need one VNC server installed on our Pi and one VNC viewer on our other device from where we want to access the desktop of your Pi. So if you are using the latest version of your Raspbian OS that is Raspbian JC with Pixel the that OS actually comes pre-loaded with VNC server as well as VNC viewer. But let's say if you are using older version of your Raspbian GC, then no issue you are going to see how to install real VNC server onto the Raspberry Pi and we'll check out on our Android phone. So let's get started guys. So over here I am going to use one earlier release of Raspbian JC where we will see how to install the real VNC, VNC server. So to do that I am just going to open up one SSH session with my Raspberry Pi. Now on the terminal when I type VNC server it shows it is an invalid command because I don't have VNC installation yet. Now let's Head over to the website of RealVNC and over here you can see it has given the instructions to install RealVNC onto the Pi if you are using earlier version of the Raspbian JC or any other OS. So at the end I just given the link down below in the description. So at the end just copy this command over here paste click on enter it's going to download this file might take some time depending upon the internet speed so it's about to complete to run the second command over here that is going to unzip this user file that we have downloaded. Okay. Now you can see over here it has two packages. That is one is VNC server, another one is VNC viewer. So let's copy this command over here, paste it out, and we just need to replace the VNC viewer. Okay, I just need to replace this, this over here with the VNC replace. Okay, I just need to edit externally. So let's open up one text pad or something. Okay. Hmm. Push it over here. Then copy this viewer, whatever. V. Okay. 
then again the server that we are going to use server to sync server here now copy the full command and on the terminal just test it out. now hit enter Oh sorry, there are some errors over here. And you can see H two dots. Okay, it's unpacking real vency. So the installation is finished. as far as our requirement is concerned so now let's check out if something else is left nothing now let's reboot the pipe again let's open up the ssh session okay now let's open up the configuration terminal and under advanced So uh, right now also I don't see any real VNC mean over here. But, uh, when you are using the latest version, you should see something like enable VNC under the advanced options. That's okay. No issue. We'll start off the VNC server for our terminal. So right now when I type in VNC server, you should see something like this. So. This shows the we have successfully installed the VNC server. So let's close it for now. And again, I am going to just resize the screen so that it fits into my device, whichever I am going to use. So for this, I just need to use the command. So for this, I am going to use the command render and geometry. So over here, it is different rendering sizes, but out of that. I just prefer the 1280 or 720. This one. So this is the geometry and this is the rendering size. So now, so over here you can see it is showing running application in etc VNC X startup. So the VNC server has started. Okay, now let's open up some VNC viewer on install my PC. There is real VNC viewer over here. It takes the like IP address of your Pi. That is for me one zero one, and the display number over here you can see is the display number one. So I can put out one and connect. you can continue and over here on username change it according to your username and password for raspberry pi mine is the default one so i'll go ahead with that now you can see over here you are getting the display from our raspberry pi so you can access this as if you are accessing the real gui from your raspberry pi so you can go through it so now right now i'll just install one app onto my android phone so that let's see if i am able to access the same desktop from my mobile so guys over on my phone let's install one vnc viewer so to do that i'm just navigating into the play store And search for real VNC viewer over here. And let's install this app particularly. So it is going to take some time to install the app onto my phone. Now you can see it has successfully installed it. So let's open it up. Yeah. So to make connection to my Pi, 
I just need to connect to my Wi-Fi network so that I'll have a connection to the Raspberry Pi. Let's add one and it takes the IP 192.168.0.1. Whatever your IP, give it a name, create. Yeah, again, I just need to connect to the fast display, so I'll get it one. Come on, connect. Yes, username pi the default one and the password. Now I can see over here I am having the display of my Raspberry Pi on my phone. Now uh, let's say open up the terminal. So it's uh, like uh, those icons and these things are appearing so small so I, I'm just not able to click or select the particular items over here Okay, it is providing me one interface so that I can use as mouse or as keyboard. I can see different options over here. This, this seems somewhat lagging, but actually I am running on the Raspberry Pi B model, so it might uh, seem somewhat slow. But if you are using Raspberry Pi three or or something much powerful then you could have a seamless way of interaction with your Pi. So that's all with this guys. You can explore different options yourselves. Thank you. Thanks for watching.